People deluded, I'm back again. Now, Rob Holding, linked with moves to Leeds, link with moves to Newcastle. Apologies for the noise, I think there's a party. Um, too late to stop this video. Um, Rob Holding played well against Fulham, and again, you know, to be fair to him, in the recent games at Wembley, he's done well, um, and in previous seasons, and generally at this time, at being at this club, he has had good runs of, um, of form, good spells of form. And I think there's a player in holding. But for me, and you know, I'm always holding FC, I think he could play for England. I just don't think he's developed specifically street smartness as a defender. As a defender, you've got to be street smart. You know, you can be a great ball player like Van Dyke. You can be a fantastic captain like like John Terry. You could or Tony Adams, you know, you could be a fantastic ball player and hit cross field passes like real. And that you know, they're all quality centre halves, big up Sol Campbell as well. But the one thing that they all have in common. The best centre, even, uh, you know, big up Vidic, the best centre halves, you know, see things early and they adjust, you know. It looks glamorous when Van Dyke makes a fantastic last ditch tackle. It doesn't look uh, um, as amazing when Van Dyke's clocked that a ball's coming to mind and he's going to be one on one, you know, let me either get tight or let me drop off a bit and it's mopped up accordingly. That's equally as important, in fact, for me and people that understand football like yourselves, that's even better because prevention is better than cure. If you have to slide tackle or, or do these things, you're reacting. What I've just said in the previous example, that's proactive and that's the best defenders are proactive, the best defenders are street smart. They expect their fullback, you know, their fullback might get caught, let me cover that space. And these are the sort of things I would have seen, would like to have seen a bit more progress with holding. I think he's a bit naive, you know, but big up to him against Fulham. I do believe he can be used in the side. For me, I'm, I, and you know, Arteta's apparently said, you know, any plans you thought about going on loan, stay at the club. Me personally, when Saliba's ready and Gabriel, I'm not saying they play week in, week out because they need to gel themselves, but they're the centre-halves I'm thinking of, you know. David Luiz, again, I, we want to phase him out ideally, but he's someone I'm thinking of just for this season alone, whether I agree with it or not. Purely for Arteta's thinking, Mustafi's been playing, he's been injured, you know. Mustafi's another defender, you know. Um, you've obviously got Marie coming into the fray, you can imagine he's part of the plan. So there's a lot of question marks. So, I, you know, holding must have thought I can go out alone, but at the same time, I think Holding can be a competent option. I understand if we ever want to sell Holding as much as I want to keep him. I think there's a player in him. But we signed him for two million. Can you make a change sort of thing? I understand why he'd want to go out alone because he hasn't played too much consistent football. He needs to go somewhere where he can get 30 appearances minimum. If he stays at Arsenal as much as I want him to, I don't think that happens. Maybe if we're at the back. Maybe if he earns his spot. I think he's a quality player in a degree. Well, when I say quality, I think he's a decent option. And it's nice to see his mind's been changed. It's nice to see he believes in Arteta. It's nice to see he believes he can have a fight of his hands, you know. But, you know, and to be fair, he's still quite young by centre-half standards. And that's not an excuse. But Arteta himself says, Arteta has revealed he has urged Rob Holding to change his mind over his Arsenal future. Apologies, people. You can see I copied and pasted this from the Daily Mail. Apparently, he said, I said to him, change your mind because you're not going anywhere. Rob stands for every value we want at the club. He's had a really difficult time, but he trained and pursued his dream to play for this club. You know, he's been on loan at Bury and now he's playing Premier League football. Why would I have to let him go? You're already playing, so what else do you want? And that's it, you know, it's down to... I think that's a smart thing from Arteta. He's laid it at the feet of holding. He said, you're already playing. What more can you want? You carry on playing like this, you probably play every game in the world for me. You know, I pick the best players. I pick the best performing players. You want your spot, go and earn it. Stop getting in your feelings. Start getting into some results. And I like that with Arteta. Arteta... It's not, I wouldn't call it dangle a carrot, but he, he, he puts things in front of players clearly, like you've seen with Mustafi, with Holding now, with El Nene getting game time, with Xhaka changing his, his ways to a degree, you know, with Maitland making a, a complete 360, 180, I was about poor at maths, so whatever it is for a full circle, you get it. So Bios the same. Clearly he's a good, Ed, even Eddie and Ketia playing to the degree where you're not getting an at least, you're keeping Lacazette out. There's clearly a thing where he, he gas. I want to say gasses, but he motivates them. He makes them believe that they have a role here and they can do a thing here for the team. But he doesn't give you any promises. He pro he gives you the belief. He gives you the, that sort of stuff. And then he entices you to go out and seize that opportunity. And if you seize that opportunity, you'll play football or you'll have a better time here like you've seen in recent times with the names I've said. So big up holding. In relation to Martinez, you know, at the time of bringing out this fit, there might be official confirmation. But in relation to Martinez, allegedly he's apparently completed his move to Aston Villa. He signed for a fee rising to 20 million according to variables and add-ons. He signed the contract until 2024. What can I say? You know, he wants first team football. He's waited 10 years to be Arsenal's number one. He eventually got it and he won a couple of cups and got to leave with his head held high. You know, he must have conceded. I've waited 10 years. I've seized it. I can't do any more. 
the new chapter of my life needs to start. I need to be a number one with the age I'm at. I need to genuinely be, I wouldn't say he's not valued at Arsenal, but be valued as a number one. I've got the Copper America to, to deal with as well, which has been spoken of. He, we'll never know why he's left, you know. On the hand, I don't. I think Arteta believes in him. He started in the cup. I don't know for Leno's fitness. I think Arteta believes in him. Um, and I think in an ideal world, I think Arteta would have said, like he has been saying in the sense of, you know, it, I want difficult decisions, you know. You want to play? Make it difficult for me to leave you out. You and Len, you know, fight it out. Six months down the line, something might have to give and a player might have to be moved on, like with De Gea and D Dean Henderson at, at, um, at um, United and potentially, you know, Chelsea got a new keeper coming in. They've got £80 million pound Mendy. I mean, Kepa, sorry, and they're bringing in Mendy. You've previously seen with Peter Cech and Courtois. You can have two quality keepers, but after a while, Sutton's got something has to give. To a degree, something has to give. Ariola's not at PSG because Navas is there or whoever's there. Something has to give. Um, and, and it's a thing where it made the best man win, you know. Martinez was doing well. I think people were doing Leno dirty a bit. It could have been Leno to leave in six months or tell his agent I'm not happy. Or Martinez. And I think Arteta's given no assurances. And he said, you know, made the best man win, you know. I thought it would have been a thing where maybe if Martinez didn't have this speculation, he would have started because it's his shirt to lose. So on one hand, I believe Arteta said, you know what, it's a best man's win thing, you know. If you want to be my number one, go out and prove it. Right now, the jersey's with you, Martinez. The minute you have a bad game, you're out. You've got a target on your back. Don't let it happen. On the other hand, yeah, with Martinez, you know, he's come from a tough background from Argentina. He's got, he's got, he's very goal driven. You know, he's waited ten years for his opportunity. To a degree, if I've waited ten years for certain people, and I finally got something close to two hands on this goal or this dream or whatever. Am I really going to want to give it up? And what has it been that long of a time? Like, you know, I don't know with lockdown and stuff, but, you know, the journey, you know, playing with Brighton, the the, the Brighton game where he came on to, whenever his statistical last game was, the Community Shield, forgive me if I'm wrong, if he, or, you know, the friendlies we've played in the, in, in, at the Emirates, you know, it's a short time. To wait 10 years to let it go for a couple of months, surely people, like I said, I'm not going to mess, but surely that don't make sense. Surely you want to give it up. So... You know, it does sound like he's quitting too easy, potentially, which I don't believe he is, because, you know, I believe what I said at first, in that you've been at Arsenal, you've played well, you've won cups, you need to go and do other things. But being devil's advocate, could that be a reason? And that's what leads me to believe, Has I don't know, but by the same token of me believing, Arteta said to both of them, it's you lot's thing, you lot fight out in training and show me who's on this. By the same token... With, like I said, with Martin is fighting, would he leave if he genuinely believed he wouldn't feature in the plans? Like, has Arteta bluntly told him that you're not my number one sort of thing? Leno is. And that's why he said, let me move. Has it been a club decision? Because he was looking on his way out before the turn of events to get it, people. We'll never know. Away from that, though, people, and apparently we're looking up, we're looking to sign up. Well, previously you had a Brentford keeper, Reiner. Apparently Arsenal have lined up Iceland international goalkeeper, Reiner Allison. Reiner, Alex, Rona, Alex Ronason, forgive me if I'm wrong, to replace Martinez. Apparently he currently plays for Dijon, who I watch quite, a, well, I wouldn't say quite a lot, but I watch a decent amount, but psh, this player has not registered anything to me. Apparently he was signed in 2018-19 for 1.4 million, so surely we get him for a nominal fee. I don't know anything about this player, but I can't lie, just again, Twitter and, and, and you know, looking on Google and doing my own little research that I do, these things you don't know in it, but at the same time, I don't feel like none of the things I'm reading or seeing from people who know more about it than me, they're not sounding over positive, it does sound like this is a keeper, not levels, and for me, you know, we was trying to get rid of Martinez time ago, before he got into the Brighton team. What has happened to all the dossiers in the sky and reports and everything for all these potential keepers that we were trying to bring in? Do you get it? We tried to bring in that German youth Schubert or whatever, he didn't bank, you know. However many targets did we have, bring them in. I'm never going to critique him, man. I definitely don't know, you know, I don't know nothing about him. And I'm not going to write a man off, but, you know, what does, does this tell you that other targets have moved? Does this tell you that we're scrambling? Because, you know, we're looking at our homegrown keepers to fill up third and second place. And Macy said he's trying to bust out, which might not happen now unless we bring someone else in with what is happening um you know in true arsenal fan fashion you know apparently this is a keeper that um has been uploaded on youtube by uh, inaki you know our goalkeeping coach so is he a thing where he's recommended him and we're just trying to get one in on a quick thing i don't know people i really don't know but we'll have to see we we'll really have to see um finally i just wanted to speak about arteta really quickly people um well, I've already spoken about him. And he's he's kind of put the gauntlet down to Gabriel and, and William. I'm not going to focus too much on Gabriel, you know. He's just praised the fact that Gabriel's only trained for a couple of days. He's just moved and he hasn't played a competitive game for five to six months. 
quite good considering he came out of that without any cramps and whatnot, allegedly. Um, but the only bit of relevance for me is how, you know, he kind of, the inevitable is obviously going to be when you've got an 80 million, 80, 70, 80 million pound player in Pepe on the bench, you know, Saka complicated things. So now you've got William and Saka, you've got Aubameyang filling in on the left hand side, you've got Martinelli to come back, you know, we've got good options on the flanks. It could be bad for Reese Nelson, maybe Reese Nelson needs to go out on loan. I want him to stay and stuff, but with William compl complicating things, everyone will get their time. You know, William might be used in a 10 presenting opportunities, but... You know, you got to start showing you can do a thing here. Um, the inevitable is going to be asked as to why Pepe came off the bench. Obviously, people, and he said, um, he said on whether the signing of William will motivate Pepe. He said, well, it's not for Nico. I think it's for the players that won the bench today, and as well the ones that we had to leave at home: Guendouzi, Torreira, um, Ozil, etc. Nelson, for whatever reason, Saliba, for whatever reason too. If they raise their levels, then the performances of the team and the club are going to improve. And this is what I demand from them. I'm really happy with all the boys and the way they're training, but selection is getting more complicated. And with this new rule of, a, of of just having only 18 players in the squad, it makes it difficult. And we need that, you know. So in my mind, again, I thought, but that's, football's harsh. At the end of the day, you put in the work in training, you, do, you seize your opportunities when they come. You can't lose your spot. William, you know, I expect William to firmly be a rotation option, but he doesn't deserve to lose his spot against West Ham. Do you get it? Tierney's clearly the number one choice at fullback. He don't deserve to lose his spot. Saka's, Saka's a mixture of tiredness and selections and just, unfortunately, Arteta wants to do other things. Saka took every opportunity he was given, you know. Aubameyang takes his opportunities, you know. You, Eddie, to a degree, previously has taken opportunities. You just take your opportunities, you're in the squad. You know, and especially for the wide players, you know, especially for the wide players. I don't want them to go into games where they think, oh, God, I, you know, we're a bit nervous, but there's fantastic options, you know. You know, we've come a long way from Meza Ozil, Mkhitaryan and either flank under Una Emery. We've come a long way, people. So hopefully it does work, you know, because like Pepe, you know, big up your teammates and it doesn't matter how much you bought, how old you are, you know, they're all good enough. But if I'm Pepe, I'm bought for 70, 80 million. I keep saying 80, 70. I want to play. I'm seeing that oh, Saka was nowhere near the first team to a degree at the start of the season last year. I'm seeing him play ahead of me. I need to be playing to a way where, em what's it, Arteta about to say Emre, can't even consider that. So now I'm seeing William and him do the thing. So if I'm Nelson, completely different. I'm seeing Saka is younger than me, you know, lap me. I'm seeing experience William come in and Reese has spoke up of, the, of, of wanting to take his opportunity. Even Emil Smith Rowe is injured at the moment, but you'd expect him to either play in that sort of term role or occupy a position on the flanks, you know. At the end of the day, I want everybody to get a game. I want I think there's enough mix and blend to be rotated over the season, but at the end of the day, put in the work. The ones that put in the work and play well will play. If you play poorly, you won't play. You know, obviously there's small, you know, some man might not get opportunities and stuff, but Arteta needs these problems. He needs good problems, you know. Our squad is quite imbalanced in many aspects, but he needs these problems. It's as simple as that. I've got nothing more to add, so I'm going to get out of him. And on that note, it's always a pleasure. DG.